everybody, Jerry Bellini here from my Arts and Parts and today's video is going to be my November design team challenge for Gina Bronzini Aarons and the challenge for this month is um, journals, planners, that kind of thing. Now as many of you know I already have um, a bullet journal that I like to use as my planner so I am going to be sharing with you something that I do uh, for my journaling. I use a composition book for that. I do not journal in my planner. And uh, I like composition books. There's lots of room to write in them and I glue two pages together so the paper is sturdy. Uh, they're very inexpensive. Sometimes you could even get them for 50 cents depending on the time of the year and uh, I really enjoy using them. So that's what we're going to do today. So get yourself an inexpensive composition book. Alright, so I wanted to show you my journal and this is the way I uh, usually do do them is um, I sand the cover and then I collage some things on there and I generally I leave the spine without anything all right and along the edge I put some washi or something decorative so I'm going to try this journal that I'm, I'm making now I'm going to try it a little differently and I'm going to actually cover the entire spine here we're going to start and I'm going to show you exactly what I do and I've already glued those two pages together I had to stop and start this video my dog started barking so here we go. I use um, an inexpensive glue stick and this one happens to be Elmer's. I got it at um, Staples. I got a whole big box of it. Oh, let me show you what I like to do is put a, and this is uh, just something that came in the mail. I save these and I put it between the pages so that I don't get glue all over the outside. And I just go around the outside edges, go a little bit in there, go in the crack and there. And then I bring the paper towards me, lay it down, and I have this little scrapey tool. You can use a, a credit card also, and then I just flatten it down. Okay, and I work like that. I kind of press it down there. Too. Okay, and you know I really don't care if um, if the pages are a little wrinkled. I kind of like that. So now the next one, I put one page down. I put the card under the next page. Go like that, and glue stick. Okay, and I just you know I actually do this at night when I'm watching television. I make a lot of these uh, journals and I actually sell them. Uh, my husband and I do um, art shows in the summer and I sell them at my art shows. One of these days I'm going to put them in my Etsy shop. So you can see this is really simple, not a big deal. And then the next one. Okay, one over. Okay, push it down. All right. All right, after I've gone through the whole book and I've glued two pages together, I will then put washi tape on the edge. All right, now I'm gonna take a piece of sandpaper because the covers are very um, smooth and I want my glue to adhere to this, so I'm just going to take this piece of sandpaper and rough up the cover and do the back cover as well. Alright, the next step, now I've this is all sanded, I've done the front and the back, so the next step is to decide what I'm going to put on the cover. And for today, I am going to use this beautiful piece of paper that I received, here we go, that I received. Um, in a uh, random act of kindness um, envelope from Gina. And you can actually um, download, 
she's got these great big pieces of her artwork that you can download um, from her Etsy shop and you can print them out on you can size them and so you can print them out on any size paper this piece of paper happens to be 17 inches uh, long by 11 inches wide and this is going to be absolutely perfect perfect for the cover of my journal check that out why don't you okay so what we're going to do now is I'm going to get some glue and I'm going to glue this down and we'll be right back. All right, so I am ready. I have my um, an inexpensive um, paintbrush that I'm going to use, and I like this this glue, uh, Utrecht, I think is how you say it, Artists Acrylic Medium, matte medium. So I'm going to use that, and I am going to put the glue all over the cover, and I'm also going to glue. Um, the paper, okay, because I like to glue both sides, and this way you have really good stickage. All right, all right. So I'm going to kind of do this in two in two sections, and I'm not used to people watching me do this. So let's see how that how that works. All right, I'm going to put that down, get that stuck, flip it back over, and smooth it down. And my handy dandy little smoothing tool is right here, and hey, okay, this looks like it's pretty good. It's working really nice. It feels good. I feel a little bit, there's a little bit of a crease here or there, but you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not a perfectionist, thank goodness. Okay, so that side's down. I'll turn it around a little bit. Oh, I love this smoothie tool, by the way. Um, I have no idea where it came from. I think it has something to do with wallpaper, to be honest with you. Anyway, well, this is going to be nice. Okay, let's open it back up. And... I see I think I want to do this again right there okay I had a little wrinkle by the spine so now I don't alrighty I think maybe it's better to go from the inside and then after you get it then you can go to the outside yeah it feels pretty good alrighty like I said earlier, a little bump and whatever doesn't not going to bother me. Which I have one right there. All right, I'm going to give this one last shot to get rid of that. Yep, I got rid of it. All right, I'm going to just let this um, sit for a minute, and I'm just going to keep pushing on it, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I wanted to let this dry, and I think that was a good idea because now I can touch it, and uh, I'm not going to get all sticky sticky. So what I did is I took a very sharp scissor with a point, a nice point, and I just trimmed right up to the journal right here next to the spine and I will pick it up and show you you see I just trimmed it right there and then I flipped the book over to the other side and trimmed it there 
So there is about, I'm going to say, an eighth of an inch a uh, little piece that I'm going to be discarding. You see that right there? That little piece in there? I'm going to discard that so that I'm going, when I fold this up, it's going to not hit the paper and bunch and get bunchy. All right? So I did that on the top and the bottom. All right, so now the next thing, and before I put glue on here, I'm just going to explain to you what I'm going to do. The next thing I'm going to do is go on the corner and fold it up like that and then I'm going to fold it over on both sides top and bottom alright so now we're gonna we're gonna do that we're gonna put glue on there and we're gonna actually do it I am not used to doing <laughs> this kind of thing on camera. This is really interesting. All right, now I'm going to fold that one down and fold that up. Oh, that's nice. That looks really good. I'm real happy with that. And then I'm just going to use my little flatty tool, flattening tool, and press it down. All right, so the edges are all glued down, front and back. And earlier I had said I was doing this a little bit differently and I was um, going to put the sheet of paper on the entire cover. Well, um, yeah, I had a little problem. <laughs> so remember when I was trying to pull the paper taut to make it lay flat? And boy, I have to tell you, it's seriously smooth. Um, I actually must have stretched the paper a little bit and it tore and okay I'm not bumming totally I'm bumming a little bit but I definitely have a fix for this and I'm going to move on because it's just a lesson learned. Now this All right I decided to put some uh, duct tape I think that's what this is yeah duct tape on the spine and look it's green. I love it. And I think it's going to look really cute because there's lots of green in here. And so you can watch me do that. I think this is duct tape. I don't know. It says made in the USA. That's all it says. So I'm going to attempt on camera because I love you. I'm going to let you, going to let you see me make a big fat mess of this. I am going to put this down. See, this is the way I look at it, guys. If you're afraid to experiment, you're never going to know. You know, you're never going to know if it's going to work or not. So just give it a shot. And so if something goes wrong, you can always do something else. All right. I think this, I'm not even sure if this is straight, but it looks, it looks straight. Okay. Hey, I like that. I'm an eyeballer. If you tell me to get my ruler out and measure, I, I start to, I don't know. I start to black out. So I'm going to just trim it right here. And I'm going to flip it over in a second. And decide what I'm going to do on the inside. So I think I'm going to trim this back a little bit, make it a little shorter and um, you're, you're seeing it live <laughs> and now I'm going to do the same thing I did with the paper, I'm going to trim it right up to the composition book and I'm going to fold it over, oh yeah this is going to work just fine and then I'm going to just cut out a little notch it's kinda of hard to do it and show it to you at the same time resist the urge to pick this up alright so now I'm gonna flip it over and fold it down come on 
You see, and there's my little notch again. I'm going to just trim that off. I won't bore you and uh, show you on camera the other side. I'll just do that and I'll be right back. All right, here I am. It worked great. I love it. In fact, I think I love it even more <laughs> with the green on the spine, to be honest. And yeah, it's a little wrinkly when you open the book like that, but I think it's I think it's pretty awesome. And you know what? I got it on pretty straight for just eyeballing it. Shock, right? Yeah, shocker. All right, so look how beautiful my journal's coming along. The next thing we're going to do is we're just going to um, put some uh, paper on the inside. And I'm going to go pick out some paper and probably, um, I don't know, I'll be right back. I'll, and then I'll show you what it's going to be. No probablys. All right, I decided to use uh, these two jelly prints that I had made. I actually did a video on these. these this was uh, made from house paint and makeup, both of these. Um, and if you want to see that video, you could look for um, hashtag $5 art. So I decided to use these, and I'm going to glue them down on the inside, and the inside of the front and the back cover. And I will be right back. All right, the next thing I want to share with you is this beautiful um, printout that came from Gina um, Bronzini Aarons' Etsy store. And she tells you uh, what, if you wanted to print these out on stickers, she tells you exactly what kind of stickers that you would need. But I just printed it out on a piece of paper, copy paper, because I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to glue them down in my journal. Now before we get going to that, I wanted to say something to you because I had this other idea and I wanted to share it with you to print it out in um, black and white. Not everybody has a color printer. Okay, I I started cutting out um, the, the page that I just showed you and I decided to just fool around with the black and white. So I got my watercolor paints out and my water brush and I started to do this over here and I thought, you know, why not turn the camera on and let you see what I'm doing. So. Okay, so I probably fast forwarded through through that part, but isn't that pretty? I mean, come on, if you don't have a color printer, just print them out in black and white and go over them with uh, some watercolor paints. And I bet you could probably go over it with acrylic paints as well and they'd be absolutely gorgeous. So I think I'm gonna have some fun with these and then I'm gonna show you what I'm actually gonna do with them when I come back. Okay, I'm back and it is late. <laughs> it's very dark in my room now. And um, I just wanted to show you what I, what I wound up doing. I kept fussing with it. And I wanted to keep the um, cover flat so that when I open it up and, and journal, um, I don't have a big lumpy thing that I'm pressing on. So what I wound up doing is I cut out, I made some, some more words and I used yellow paper, like a golden yellow paper. So I cut that out and, and, and glued those down. I um, also, as you can see, I put some string um, through a couple of pages. Not a big deal. I mean, a lot of people do this. I've seen this on the internet a million times, but I felt like I felt like it just needed a little something hanging off of it somewhere. So <laughs> I did that. The inside, I decided, I'm real happy with the inside. Can you see that? Okay. Um, I decided to uh, make a pocket. Well, I didn't make this pocket. I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that. I decided to add a pocket. So I had this pocket in my stash, and I just put a piece of cardstock back there, and I used a score tape. So it's going to be down there really uh, nice. It's not going to come off. And those were the round um, labels that I got out of Gina's store. And I felt like I wanted something else. So I went back in Gina's uh, Etsy shop and I found these, these cute little tags. Okay, I hope you can see them. It's dark in here. Anyway, um, 
Yeah, I just took a piece of a thin file folder and threw it in my color printer and they print it out. And just all you had to do is cut them out. So you can use the back of these to um, do a little secret uh, journaling if you want to. And, um, you know, keep them in the pocket. Right? So you could write down a little something something on there like, man, I ate a donut, I wasn't supposed to do that. Oops, now why, why are they stuck? Okay, there we go. <laughs> anyway, I thought they were cute, and then I added the, a little bit of ribbon, which got me thinking uh, about ribbon in general, and that's, that's why I put this on here. So let me show you what I did. That's just a piece of washi tape, and I will just make this quick. I used the words, and I just randomly glued them down. Every page doesn't have something. These are the uh, circle stickers that of course mine are on copy paper so I just used a glue stick and put them down and there it's just random so there's artist and another circle sticker and the word inspire so maybe you know when when I get to that page and I see the words time they will inspire me be happy okay you see what I did I mean it's cute okay and it's not a lot. This is one of the ones that I printed out in black and white and I painted it myself. So if you don't have a color printer, remember you can do that. That's Gina's original artwork with her colors. And in the back, let me just quick show you the back. I, I don't know, I just like this and I just felt it was a nice way to end the book. Friendship. Hello! And then I always like to put a label when I'm working on a project for um, Gina's design team. So this was for the November Design Team Challenge 2016. And there you have it. And I really, I enjoyed making it. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. It's really, oh, a simple journal. I almost forgot. I went back and I used a pen and just pretended I had stitching lines around it. So, cute. It really, if I hadn't been uh, filming this video, it would have taken me, you know, an hour, two hours to make this. But because I was filming, it took me, uh, took me all day. Love it. Love you guys. And I'm so happy that you have been coming to my channel to watch my videos. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Uh, I really love doing these videos. They're really fun. So thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to turn your clocks back tonight. It is Saturday. And that was a stupid thing to say <laughs> because you're not going to see this video until November 15th. Oh, well, what, am I, what are you going to do? I'm a mess. So have a blessed evening, everyone. And um, I'll, I'll see you again real soon. Good night.